All right, folks. What are we doing today? We're doing a beer review. First off, did you see the intro of the video? Did you see the socks? I actually got the socks on right now. My parents sent me these socks for Christmas. So we had to show them off, obviously. All right, we are doing a beer review. First off, my Uncle Jim sent me a new glass. Let's see if we can get this. Big Axe Brewery. Is that focusing? Is my big head in the way? Big Axe Brewery. Proudly brewed in new in Nack. A wick, Nackawick, New Brunswick. Proudly brewed in Nackawick, New Brunswick. They actually went to this brewery and had some brews there, my uncle and aunt. In dog beers, I've only had one. So we're going to try our beer in this glass. It is Christmas time. Today, it is actually Christmas Eve, Eve. The day before, the day before Christmas 2024. So, we're gonna celebrate, and we're gonna have two beers for the price of one. We're gonna do a head-to-head -head Christmas inspired beer face-off, and I'm gonna pick which one I like the best. So, from Abita Brewery, which I think is in Louisiana somewhere. Pretty sure. I've had these before. Abitas are pretty good beers, most of them. I really like the Andy Gator beer from them. Uh, Abita Springs, Louisiana. Abita Brewing Christmas Ale. And it's actually got alligators on there. <clears throat> so we're going to do that one against this one. I actually had another beer the other day from these guys that was the first one. Urban South Brewery. This is Red Nose Rain Beer. Fruited wheat, cranberry, cinnamon, and brown sugar. That sounds pretty good. We'll see if it sounds as tastes as good as it sounds. Cranberry cinnamon and brown sugar. Where are these guys out of? Urban South Brewery. Come on now. It's also in Louisiana. Brewed and packaged by Urban South Brewery, New Orleans, Louisiana. Louisiana. So two Louisiana Christmas beers here in Mississippi. So I think we're going to start off with the Christmas Ale by Abita Brewing. And I'm not 100% sure if this is a twist off or a... Feels like a pop top. I'm going to have to pop the top. Here's our cup. I'm only going to do half. So it's a golden color. Head to head beer review. Got a good head on here. Head to head beer. What is this? Christmas ale? I'm not seeing any. If you want to look it up, you'll have to look it up. Here we go. Each year at the Abita Brewery, we craft a special dark ale for the holiday season. Then Papa Noel harnesses up his team of gators and makes this special delivery. The recipe changes each year so that Abita Christmas ale is always the perfect gift. So let's try this one first. Sorry, I'm a little out of breath. Okay, it smells slightly hoppy. Mm. 
Now I didn't say what was in here. Any cranberries or peppermint or just says Christmas ale. Which I think that could be a good thing. Because if you get a beer like this that says cranberry, cinnamon, and brown sugar and it doesn't taste like any of that to you, that can be a disappointment. Unless it tastes like that, then you're like, yeah, that's really good. All right. Not getting any, I'm not smelling anything crazy, just slightly hoppy. <sighs> wow. Okay, so I'm not the beer connoisseur. I can't be like, okay, this tastes like this. They obviously fermented this for this long. The yeast interacted with this. I don't know what's going on here, but it tastes good. It tastes pretty good. Like I said, it is slightly hoppy, not IPA hoppy. It smells hoppier than what it tastes. Uh, I don't know how to describe it flavor-wise. You're just going to have to pick one up yourself. Wow. That is, I'm going to say that's pretty good beer. I'm going to wait on the ratings till we've had the other one. Now I know we should wash this glass out before we do the other one. I may wipe it out with a paper towel real quick. Alright, so on to beer number two. First one was pretty good, even though I can't tell you what it tastes like. It tastes like a pretty good beer, but I can't accentuate any notes. I can't tell you any flavors that it may that inspire me. Red Nose Rain Beer by Urban South. Yep. This one is a little bit lighter. But the summer safe. A little bit lighter in color. Go for the smell. Okay, that's weird. <clears throat> smell wise, I don't know if I like it. Not in a bad way. Not like, oh, that smells terrible, but I can't. Wow, we messed that up. That went straight up the nose. That was definitely bad. Wow. <clears throat> Ugh. Does it smell like cranberry, cinnamon, and brown sugar? It might smell a little bit cinnamony. It might be like snorting cinnamon up your nose. All right, let's go ahead and go for the test. Enough talking. <sighs> Fruited wheat, cranberry, cinnamon, and brown sugar. I'm being kind of quiet, thinking.
Okay. Red nose rain beer. I'm gonna say it right off the bat. Was not a disappointment. Okay. The Beta Christmas L was a good beer. Overall in beer world, beer beer reviews, any day of the year beer reviews, this would probably get a nine out of ten. Red nose rain beer in an everyday situation would probably get a 9 out of 10. I'm going to give both of these a 9 out of 10 in every day of the year situation. Okay? This is pretty good. Which one to me tastes most Christmassy? It's Christmas. I want something for Christmas. I'm thinking of this here makes me think of what kind of beer you would put out for Santa Claus you know when you put those cookies and milk out for Santa Claus if it wasn't cookies and milk some sweet cookies and some nice cold milk what would he like to drink on Christmas night this one wins it is beer but it is not super beery tasting I have to pour a little more So it is a beer, but I'm going to say Smirnoff, I'm going to say Angry Apple Orchard, I'm going to say all those things, but uh, I don't want to stereotype it in those stereotypes, if you know what I'm saying, but those really aren't beer, beer tasting. This is kind of along the same route, um, not hoppy at all. Uh, very mellow cranberry cinnamon and brown sugar cranberry when it says cranberry it's not tart it's not tart cranberry not cranberry juice tart cranberry is probably the least of the flavors I taste cinnamon is another of a least maybe more than the cranberry but the brown sugar is what tastes like the most so it'd be like half a serving of brown sugar and a quarter serving of cranberry cinnamon but the brown sugar is what comes through the most this makes me think of a pie a good pie a brown sugar cranberry cinnamon pie um, thinking along the lines I know I'm throwing pumpkin pie out there pumpkin pie it's kind of mellow in my opinion just a mellow taste uh, this is very mellow so red nose rain beer wins for the Christmas beer it's the winner both of them are nine out of tens on everyday scale urban south red nose rain beer wins for Christmas beer if you can get it get it it tastes pretty good Merry Christmas. It's right around the corner. Merry Christmas 2024. Thanks for watching. Wow. That's good.